Hi everyone, this is Dawn and welcome back to my channel. So I just wanted to come on and share um, really a few things today. So first off is some very sweet happy mail from my friend Ninju. And if you're not familiar with Ninju, I will leave the link to her channel in the description box below. Just one of the sweetest young ladies. And look at this beautiful card she has sent me. Yellow is her favorite color. And then look at these adorable bunnies. Ninju, I appreciate um, your sweet note and your friendship so much. She is uh, just a wonderful young lady. And Ninju, I thank you so much for um, your sweet note and your sweet card and thinking of me. I very much appreciate it. So thank you. And then um, I wanted to share um, a little bit of a project share, I will say. Let me use the back of this envelope. These are some flowers that I have made this week. I haven't had much crafty time, but um, I was very inspired. Let's see, Paula at Renewed and Crafted For You and also um, Firefly Studio 67. They have both made these flowers and I think I even have a die that has the same sort of shape and I've seen these around for a long time and have I ever stopped to make any? No, and there I always want to make um, flowers and I always want to be simple. Have I've always tried, wanted to make like corn uh, from for, corn flower crafts, um, uh, beautiful flowers um, with the fabric and their stitching and I don't very often break out a needle. It's still on my crafty um, wish list to do but I did stop and break out um, these very simple little flowers this week and I might come back on and do my own um, little how to to make these um, little DIY. However, the videos that are out there are absolutely wonderful. So, uh, I'm gonna leave those two channels linked below. But anyways, um, I just used my punches and I used three different sizes of them. I just crunched up the circles, inked up the edges, and then I did put them on a little bit of like a styrofoam mat with like the end of this tool and just kind of um, swooshed around in the middle just to make them cup up just a little bit, you know, and um, literally just glued them together, added a button with some string, and I did have a punch from Hobby Lobby, which, let's see, it was in a four pack of leaves. I think they still carry this, and this was the little punch that I used for that, and the circles that I used are very small punches. These are my circle punches that I've had for years from Stampin' Up!, which I think one is one and three quarter, and maybe one and a quarter, and then I had a one inch punch. So, and even if you have your circle dies, anything, but I love how sweet these turned out. And I've already used one of them in my little journal, which I have not worked in in a while. Let me see if I see it here real quick. Here it is. I went ahead and put it in this traveler's notebook. I've been working in this cheaply chic um, uh, traveler's notebook and um, I, have worked on it. A, I've done a couple of craft with me's and I've worked on it just a little bit, but not too much. But here is um, one of the little layouts. This was a cutout from a tree. And then I love that this um, paper behind it. So I just kind of made a little bit of a fabric ruffle with some lace and added one of those little um, flowers with it. And I just love how that looks. So I have been playing around a little bit and I'm gonna probably do more craft with me's in here, but I just haven't had tons of ideas. So I have just played around a little bit. So that's my, um, those shares. And then um, I got this um, in the mail last night. So I went ahead and ordered, and oh my goodness, I should have written her name down. I will leave Carla's um, uh, channel in the description box below. So it is Carla Frizzell, two Z's, two L's. Um, I'm going to leave her, um, like, as I said, channel linked in the description box below. And uh, she makes beautiful, beautiful journals. I've admired her style from a, last, uh, a long time. And um, I actually got to know her um, Shelly at Crafting Mamas and uh, I know she's had some other things in life taking her away but she always used to do lives like a couple of days a week and all of us ladies would get on there and craft and have a good time or just chat and hang out. Um, wonderful, wonderful people. So Carla is one of the ladies that I know from hanging out with all the 
lady. So um, I was looking at her um, Etsy shop recently, and I believe it is Carla E. Creations on Etsy. And I will leave that information below as well. But anyways, I she most recently made a journal, and I think I've looked at her shop in the past, but I went over and looked at her shop, and I noticed this, because um, one of the last journals she made was just really, really amazing. But um, anyways, I noticed that she had a little summer-themed, oh, there's a note on the back. Oh, thank you so much for your love and support. I hope you enjoy this book. Oh, thank you, Carla. And I love this tag. Um, I think that's a little Richard Scary from a, a book. Don't you just love it? Look at right here. Love it. So this is um, a little summer themed. Oh, look how beautiful this washi tape is. This came packaged amazingly. She had this all wrapped in bubble tape and uh, all sealed. So um, nothing was going to get in it. And then she's got it wrapped up so lovely here. I, want, I picked it up in the mailbox last night and then I opened it up because I was going to peek at it. Um, before I filmed it, but it was packaged so lovely. And I'm like, no, I have to wait. So, okay. Look at this beautiful little charm first. Let me move this tissue paper. So I am so excited about this, Carla. So, okay, let me move these little strings away. And by the way, look at this gorge. I love Rick Rack number one, but look at that. And then the string, definitely things that can be used. So I'm gonna set them aside. And also too, side note, I cleaned up my space here and a lot of things I actually put away rather than just pushing them to the side as one normally does. <laughs> so anyways, I got a little bit of a gold star today for putting some things away this morning before I filmed. So, okay, let's look at this beautiful, beautiful cover. I love summer themed projects. And when I saw this and actually I went back and I hadn't seen the video on this before I had ordered it. And I went back and I saw it and which quite frankly, I think I'll leave the video to the, um, this um, down there as well. I think they're all sold, but I loved them too, especially with the, the one with the, was one with a flamingo as well. And you know, I'm going to be adding some flamingos in this book. So anyways, I am just talking because I'm so excited so this beautiful butterfly um, and I believe she makes these and I know she makes her own handmade buttons and does sewing and all kinds of things look at the burlap all the things uh, the attention to detail on this cover and actually before I even open this she was talking about this was like a canvas and I believe she covered an envelope um, so this canvas, I think she painted and then she used the Distress inks and it is just a beautiful effect and I really love the feel of it and all the detail here. So she's used this um, as the uh, closure and look at the cute little hot air, I love hot air balloons. Um, so that is the, the closure here, um, very simply done just love this okay so let's go ahead and peek on inside and oh my goodness she said she was adding some additional goodies and I know from her shop anyways it looks like um, certain things that she sends out that she might have an additional goodie pack as well so that is wonderful look at the little pineapple look at this little turtle how cute is he wonderful buttons and paper clips oh, look at this great little gem it's like a little yellow square Carla, thank you so much. Ooh, look at that great button as well. I'm not going to pull all these things out but right now, but I am. Oh, she also, there is a video where she has made these paper clips. It's on my, my to watch list. And, um, oh, I'm excited to have one of those. Oh, and there's another little sand dollar. Wonderful little goodies. Thank you, Carla. Oh my goodness. Okay. So this is the inside of the closure and I love how that wraps around that is pretty cool and I'm pretty certain that is one of her handmade buttons that is awesome okay so let us get on into the flip and it's decorated pretty simply oh I love that for you to go and put your stamp on and I am excited I love summer themed projects oh, look at that I believe she said this was from an old like a really old encyclopedia, if I'm not mistaken. I almost want to say from the 40s, if I remember. Look at this gorgeous paper. Surface Cove, Boat Dock, The Overlook. Oh, I just love this. Actually, this one might be the older page. One of them she was talking about. Um, I was going to call that an angelfish, but I'm not sure. Okay, that's probably the encyclopedia book she was talking about. Oh my goodness, this is so fun. Oh my gosh, look at the little, uh, it's gift wrap paper, I think she said. Oh my goodness, and look at the colors she has achieved on this paper. 
probably with her distress inks. There was a diving board from which even the smallest girl dived like a flash. Look at that sweet image from a little children's book. Little tab here. Music paper and okay, that's a flip out and a little tuck here oh, and a tuck here. I love that. And then another little book page. Beach search. Love that fun pop of color. I am just loving this, Carla. Another little pocket. Love the crinkly pages. Don't you love that sound and feel? So sweet with the rocks. Reminds me of the jetties up here. Because I do live in a beach area. Oh my goodness, look at that. Little clams and the crab. This is just so sweet. Oh, I love that. Wonderful, wonderful touches. Almost looks like measurements. The rest of that book page. So beautiful. Just lovely. I am so, can you tell I am just looking through this probably going a little slower than I should. I am just enthralled. Oh my goodness, and she's got some more goodies back here. Oh my goodness, Carla. Okay, this is fun and exciting. Oh, Handmade with Love by Carla Frizzell. So sweet. I just love this. Okay, so, and then she's added some additional goodies here. Okay, oh my goodness. So Carla does this beautiful stitching, and this is a very small sample of her work. She, the, Her most recent thing, oh my goodness, I just adored it so much. It was a giant, chunky, vintage children's book that is just filled with stitching and so much goodness, I can't even say. This is such a wonderful idea. I have never thought to do that unless she made this bag herself and then embossed it, but it looks like an embossed bag. Awesome idea. Love that, Carla. And then she's got some great little tags, I think, from the offcuts from the papers. I really love that beach theme paper. It's so fun and vintage. Pieces that I can create with. Oh, I saw her. Oh, I love this. I saw her talk about this where she just stamped um, this on a piece of paper, and it almost looks like this was its own wrapping paper or something. And I love this, and it looks very vintage. Awesome idea, Carla. Love it. And then, oh my goodness, okay. Look at this little vintage guy. And you know what? I come from a family of scuba divers. She has actually, it's a little tag that she has created. So that is its own piece of ephemera. Oh my goodness. And then more book page. I love this so much. Absolutely wonderful. And then looky here. So cute. So cute. Love all these wonderful things she has. And then inside of here is, oh my goodness, much more ephemera and goodies to play with. Oh my goodness, I'm going to have so much fun. And you know I have my own stash of summer things. Oh my goodness, it's a little fabric fish. Flip flops. Oh my gosh, she's got so much goodness packed in here. Oh, I love that flashcard. I love flashcards. I have such a thing for flashcards. Love that. All these little ephemera pieces. Loving the flip-flops. Frames. Doilies. Another little, um, little glassine bag. I love that. Oh, look at that. Dream. Loving a flamingo, as we know. Oh, I love the idea of this little half circle. Can be, like, put on the side for a tuck or added to a bag. Oh, I love that. Like the idea of the half circle. Oh my goodness, Carla, I cannot um, thank you enough. Definitely check out Carla's videos. And if you ever want to purchase anything from her, definitely check out her um, Etsy shop. Um, just a creator of many beautiful things. So I am excited to have just a little piece of her work. So thanks for stopping by and watching. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe, would love to have you as uh, uh, one of my crafty friends. And um, so hope you have a great day. And uh, until next time.